would like to have fun like a child does. <laughs> Me too. This is Sandlot Field. And so the ducks have been gracious enough to let me use it. And uh, like Wally said, we all have an idea of how to go out there and play the game properly. Um, <clears throat> I think you get the most joy out of it when you find ways to unweight yourself. You know what I mean? Think about the person next to you and uh, go play the game properly. Those are things within my control. If I could control base hits, I'd get more of them and I'd miss less ground balls, but sometimes that's outside of your control. Murph, uh, I had the pleasure of covering your, your Met tenure and I saw you at Old Timers Day. And I can't help but think that maybe that might have set the seed. I mean, just the joy you had back on the field. But as top notch as the Ducks are, Obviously, it's a, it's a little bit of a drop off from the major leagues. How have you found the surroundings, the locker rooms, and everything? You know, being a major leaguer for so long. Well, this has been a blast. Like, it's, like I volunteered for this, and they, they fortunately let me come. And uh, thinking back to the old timers game, I would say that, that some of that probably as I began this adventure, it would have been maybe another four to six weeks after the old timers game. That was still fresh enough, you know, to play in front of the New York fans and have the orange and blue on, which is the first time I had it on since uh, 15. Um, and Jose Reyes is out there. And so I'd say some of it, I don't know how much this, is, this has been more uh, like a kind of thought experiment adventure that I've gone on. And uh, yeah, it, as long as I'm enjoying myself and willing to come out here voluntarily each day, like that's, I want to come out here and play hard and enjoy myself. Mark, do you have any commitment you've given your family in terms of timetable, whatever, to be away from, to be part of this adventure, to enjoy yourself this season? As long as I want to show up voluntarily and the load on my wife and the responsibility she's taken on, which is a lot. We have four children. We have a six-month-old at the house right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep coming. You know, but that's my, my commitment is, is to my family first, and then next will be you know to the Ducks and, and wanting to show up and play properly. So you, you mentioned the thought journey, but I can't help but think, I mean, the ultimate end of that thought is back in a Major League Baseball uniform. You, you take a look at Nelson Cruz, 41 years old, still be able to do it. I, I mean, is that the ultimate goal, to be back in, you've mentioned the Mets a number of times, is that the ultimate dream at the end of this journey? It's not. I wouldn't call it the ultimate, the ultimate dream. My goal is to, to continue testing my movements, my swing basically, because nobody's overly interested in watching me play a ton of defense. But like my swing hit faster and faster, what I would call laboratories, you know what I mean? So when I was at home in the off season, I would pick different labs. I had the lab with the T and soft toss and batting practice. And I was able to collect some at bats. It's another laboratory. But now there's no rules out here. There's just, you know, a pitcher trying to, to eat you. And so we'll see if I go fast enough and if somebody you know, that, that is affiliated, thinks I'm going fast enough and wants to try it out. There are some labs that are a bit faster than this one. Um, you know, I'm not opposed to trying it out there, but it's, it's that's, my, old, my goal when I started this was not to play baseball in a uniform. It was to, it was to, to play like a child plays, if that makes sense.